Welcome to Homework Answers. We're going through the textbook Programming Logic and Design, 8th edition by Joyce Farrell, and in this video we're covering Chapter 2, Exercise 6a. As always, make sure you make the necessary corrections to this solution. I've changed very few things, and they're very, very minor changes. <clears throat> this problem only asks for the hierarchy chart, and I believe that's the case for all of the uh, exercises in this chapter. So let's get started with the problem here. What we're trying to find is the BMI of a person, body mass index. And so uh, with our hierarchy chart, we're going to start out with main program. And we've got housekeeping, get height, detail loop. Inside of that, we've got get weight, compute height to square meters, and compute the BMI. Then we've got end of job, display BMI, and display message. Um, just note, like I said in the videos before for this chapter, this may not be the best hierarchy chart. Um, it's not one, you know, it's not my strongest area, but if you have nothing to go on, it's a good start here. Um, so just keep that in mind if you find that there's some better, better ways or there, yeah, if I'm missing something, by all means, put in what you think is, is appropriate. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at the code up here. I'm, I've declared two constants. We're going to use these two numbers here to for our equations down here in order to convert our height that we we enter our height in inches basically and we need to have that in square meters and with our weight we enter pounds but we want that in kilograms. So these two numbers here are going to be used in these equations down here in order to you know convert those to the appropriate measurements. Uh, in, in reality, you might want to consider with this one adding 0 .001, and with this one adding 0 .01, it may possibly be the correct number. I don't know. Hint. <laughs> um, so next, you know, we've got our variables, height, weight, and BMI and I've initialized them all to zero. With the next area we've got our inputs and we're going to ask for the height in inches and we're going to ask for the weight in pounds. Now with this calculations area this is going to be the equation to convert our height from inches to square meters. And I'm using this power thing here, you know, raising it to the power of two. So basically whatever number we have we're going to multiply that number by that number again. But this is a fast way of doing it. I, I like using this, you know, because if you ever have to do something where you have a, a, a value times that value again, times that value again, times that value again, so on and so forth, you could have it seven times or ten times, you know, instead of writing that over and over and over again, you just change this number. And it's very useful. Uh, you cannot use this, by the way, take note of this, you can't use it unless you have include math.h. So that's necessary. Um, then from there, we're going to find our BMI. And that's just, in parentheses, weight times the number that we're going to use to convert the weight to kilograms divided by the height that we just found out. Because whatever you enter, enter here, through this calculation, it's going to change. And then it's going to be used here, in this equation. And then you'll have your BMI. So next we've got our outputs. Your BMI is this and uh, a message. Um, actually, the reason I put set precision here, and I explain this in a lot of other videos, uh, set precision to 2 because I want two decimal places, but those decimal places are only going to show if I have fixed here as well. And you cannot use this unless you have this up here. Include IOMANIP. So just take note of that. Let's go ahead and watch this program run. Uh, let's see, I don't know, 70. Um, 
Yep. So your BMI is that. And actually, I think that with BMI, they usually they usually don't have decimal places, if I remember correctly. And I've looked up these this specific answer on you know online with an uh, BMI BMI calculator. So this is actually correct. Let's go ahead and run it again, just to make sure. 155. Yeah, so that that is right. Um, and that's pretty much it for this problem. Let me look it over real fast. Yep, yep, that's good. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.